So I personally could not get enough of talking about one of my favorite shows on television right now, and that is HBO's The Outsider. Per the request of one of my amazing subscribers, they had mentioned, hey, it would be cool if you did a, not a trailer reaction, but a trailer breakdown based on that preview that we got at the end of episode nine. As you all know, I have my review for episode nine on my channel right now. Did a really cool video predicting who I think will live and die based on that cliffhanger episode nine. And now we're gonna break down this trailer, guys. We're gonna speculate. We're gonna make theories about what we see in this trailer and what we can expect to see in this Sunday's season finale. So let's just jump right into this video and let's have some fun discussions. Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. Elliot back again with a brand new Outsider special video per the request of one of my subscribers to do a trailer breakdown for the preview that we got at the end of episode 9. So full spoilers, if you haven't seen the latest episode of The Outsider, go check it out, watch my review, watch my prediction video, and then of course watch this video because what we're going to do in this video, we're going to break down this trailer. So we're going to look at frame by frame what we're getting, what we're going to, we're going to speculate, we're going to make theories about what we expect to see in this season finale this Sunday. So very excited to break it down. Before we do that, as you all can see on the screen now, make sure you're following me on all my social media accounts. If you're new to this channel, definitely subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Give this video a thumbs up, really helps out the channel and I also really appreciate it. And last but not least, I've had such an amazing time making my reviews for The Outsider, talking to you all about the show. So definitely leave your comments below what you think about this teaser trailer. What do you hope to see this Sunday? Give me all your theories. Give me me all your speculations in the comments below with that being out of the way let's just jump right into this trailer breakdown so we start to trail off with uh we see one of our main characters and one of my favorite characters holly taking cover there but i like this this dialogue that she mentions when she was little which i was hoping to get a little more backstory in this season and when she was little because we got a little bit of tidbits of her uh upbringing uh but i really wanted to learn more about that potential shining uh, abilities that she has but she mentions that her dad tells her a man knows a man but an outsider knows an outsider. Is that a pivotal line? Is that alluding to another outsider uh, out there, another El Cuco in Cherokee that you know killed that uh, that new victim that we learned about? Very interesting uh, bit of dialogue there. As we kind of continue to look at the trailer here. As we can see, I'm going to press pause real quick. This is Ralph. As I had mentioned in my prediction video, this is, as I mentioned, uh, Eunice took cover with Ralph. You know, they're police officers. They're smart. They know that when someone's taking fire, to take cover immediately. And as we know from our Star Wars fans out there, that Jack has the high ground. Uh, and it looks like they're shooting at him. So they realize where the shots are coming from, which is good. So we'll see how that plays out. But she, you know, Ralph looks to be seeing, is everyone okay? But in particularly, is Holly okay? So as I imagine, that's who he's looking at. So this is a big scene here. As we see, now this is a different position. That seems to be, uh, looks like Ralph, again, if I'm not mistaken, that might be Seal, Claude's brother. I'm not sure. It's kind of blurry, but this is a big scene here because we see that there's someone in that driver's seat that is on fire. I think that might be the same car that Holly and Andy were in. As I had predicted that Andy might have gotten shot based on him giving her a kiss, kind of the kiss of death, but that looks like that. The, that's the same car that Andy was in. We're going to go ahead and press play and keep looking at this trailer, but also look at that reaction by Holly. You know, she obviously wants everyone to be safe in this, in this situation, but she has a very, you know, big relationship relationship with Annie. I think that that's Annie in that car that blows up, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Certain developments in the Frank, the Frankie Peterson homicide case. Is this, you know, what are we going to find out? Is this going to be the moment that I've been waiting for? Because I, I, I enjoyed the Terry... Uh, storyline and the family and the girls and his wife glory and everything they're going through but it it, it kind of hasn't had the most developed storyline so i hope that we get a good conclusion are they going to clear his name are we going to find out about another el cuco i'm so fascinated to see what's going on with this new development is he under the possession of el cuco is he that other person that people were looking for in regards to if we know terry was a duplicate by el cuco who was helping out el cuco during that time was he did he have enough strength that he didn't need an extra helper like he needed Jack and Claude's situation? What's going on with Maria? Are we going to learn about her and her, you know, and her case and everything? So very, very interesting stuff going on in this finale, guys. I love this creepy, eerie music. And that looks, I'm going to, oh, let me rewind. Let me go back a little bit. So that looks to be Howard trying to start the car as it looks like there's gunshots approaching him. Okay, guys, so I'm going to freeze this frame. That looks like the same position that it's in. This is the truck that was in front of that abandoned van. That looks to be Andy in that car that exploded, guys. I'm pretty sure that that's Andy. And unfortunately, it looks like Andy's going to be going on in a blaze of glory. 
So we see Claude, his brother taking some shots there. Again, Ralph taking cover. I'm telling you all, look at that reaction by Holly. Again, she cares for everyone there, especially, you know, Ralph and everything. But that reaction that she's giving, that looks like that's Andy dying and getting exploded in that car. You know, we see Jack screaming, as I mentioned in my prediction video, that he get bit by that rattlesnake. Did he get shot? Who knows? We're in the bear cave now, which I cannot wait to see how this scene plays out. You know, as I had mentioned, my two, you know, people that I think will be okay in the shootout is Holly, is Ralph. We see him in the cave now. He's feeding. Yeah, I cannot wait for this scene. As we can see, as I'm going to press pause, you have Ralph pointing the gun at El Cuco. You have Holly there. I cannot wait to see how this play, this scene plays out. Now we got some quick shots here. Let me press pause. They turn on some lights. El Cuco seems to be praying to someone maybe, or maybe, you know, uh, he gives up. He surrenders maybe and kind of tricking them. As we see that chair, I, I assume this is a chair that El Cuco set in the night that he visited uh, Ralph's wife, Jenny. It looks like she's blowing, you know, getting rid of that chair. You know, is that a symbol to saying that El Cuco is finally gone? Is it the last thing that, you know, Ralph sat on and Ralph may, maybe didn't come back after this, you know, um, moment that we got at the end of episode nine? I don't know, guys. I don't know. And we got that rattlesnake there again. Now, this is a big scene here. Let me rewind a little bit. As we can see, that looks to be Andy and Holly having her hands over his mouth. Is that a flashback to when they had that one night stand? Is this a dream? We've had a lot of dream sequences in this season. Who knows what this is about? This might be that scene where she left him uh, from after they had that one night stand, but it might also be a dream that Holly's having. We see Claude's yelling with Howard next to him. This might be when he sees his brother dies. Quick scene here. It looks like Holly, is that Jack behind her? Did Jack survive the shootout? And this is maybe a cliffhanger for next for this finale that everything's fine and dandy. But then Jack comes up at the end of the episode and like, we need to talk or something. I don't know. And then we see Ralph here smashing something with a rock. Is it El Cuco? Did he have enough of El Cuco talking? Is Ralph killing Holly? Oh no, guys. Now this is a big scene. So I think, yeah, that's that same truck. It's exploding. There's a body there. I don't know if you guys can see there's a body before the car explodes. There's a body in front of that car that explodes with that person in there who I speculate to be Andy. Go ahead and press play. What is your name? Ah. Oh. I can't wait, guys. Season finale is this Sunday. Definitely going to be reviewing it this Sunday right after the episode. And as I had mentioned in my prediction video, I want to do an, uh, my first ever YouTube live. So I'm going to leave a poll on the screen right now, somewhere on the screen. Let me know if you all would join in on me doing a YouTube live either on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday. So I'm going to let you let me know in the comments, answer the poll if you all would join in. For me doing a live, I'm going to do my review still, but I also want to do like a 45 minute to an hour discussion with you all on, on a YouTube live video. So let me know and vote on that uh, on that poll there. So broke it all down, guys. So what did I see in that trailer, that teaser? I think that Andy's definitely going to die for sure. And I think he's the one that's going to be blown up in that car. I think that Ralph's brother, or I'm sorry, Claude's brother, uh, Seal, might be taken out because we saw him screaming there. Um, you know, what's going to happen with Jack? Does he survive? Because in that quick shot, it looks like he was standing behind Holly. Is that uh, a cliffhanger, the last scene of the, of the season? Who knows? Will they kill El Cuco as we saw Ralph bashing someone or something in the head with a rock? Is that Holly? I don't know. Is it El Cuco? Who knows? Again, is the DA or that mayor or whoever he is, does he have something to do with the Terry case? Was he the second person involved? Will we find out more about Maria and everything that happened to her? Will we find out about Terry's grandfather? There's a lot still on the table to be answered, but I am so excited to look at this finale this Sunday. But let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know your theories, your thoughts as I hit this on the mic here. Your theories, your thoughts, your comments in the comments below. Let me know what you all are thinking. I am so excited for this finale as you all can see if you're new to this channel definitely subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos give this video a thumbs up really helps out the channel i cannot wait guys for sunday thank you all for watching this review make sure you check out my reviews that i do for movies i have my review for uh the way back the new ben affleck film coming out tomorrow i have my review for onward on my channel now that's also coming out tomorrow and i got a lot of other great things on my channel so check it out thank you all again for the amazing support and we'll see you on sunday for the finale of the outsider